Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Robin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to pass the plane ticket test in the new Android 13 plus checks. So Google has now implemented a new rule and beginning with May 2025, your phone should now pass the new Android 13 checks instead of the legacy check. So what's new in this? Well, in this new test, the up until now, only the strong test required you to have a keybox XML file, but beginning with May 2025, even the device integrity test will also now require you to have a keybox XML file. So apart from the strong, the device test would also require that your phone should have an unrevoked keybox XML file and only then your phone should be able to pass the test. So before 2025 May, you only needed the keybox XML file for the strong test, but now you will need this file for the device test as well. This is the only but the biggest change in the Android 13 check. So this might come as a disappointing news for most of you because finding a keybox XML file is quite difficult but worry not as and when I get hold of the file I always share them with you so regarding this if you want to read more about what's new in this change you may go to my guide I made a comprehensive guide and what all is the new features and everything else new in this new check you may go through it and get hold of the information with that said in this video, I'll show you how to pass the new Android 13 check as well. So yesterday I had shared the seventh keybox XML file with you guys. And in that file, I had shown you that my phone was only passing the legacy test. And as you could see, currently I'm passing the legacy test, but the new Android 13 checks are being failing. So in this video, I'll show you how to pass both the legacy as well as the Android 13 checks. So with that in mind, Let's get started. As you could see over here, I'm passing both the Android 13 and the legacy checks as well. So for that, here's what you need to do. So for passing the legacy check, the steps are the same as before. You will have to get hold of an unrevoked keybox XML file. For that, you will have to drop in your request in the comment section of this guide. Get your unrevoked keybox XML file here. So this is my new guide. Earlier, I used to drop in the comments here, but this guide already have over 2000 requests it's too much so i made a new guide and now you have to drop in your request in this guides comment section please use a valid email id and drop your request only once if you're doing so twice and thrice it's quite difficult for me to manage all the email ids so drop in your request in this guide and i will mail you the keybox xml file once you have got the keybox xml file you could go to my guide the second guide and from here how to pass the integrity check you will, will now be able to pass the test so first and foremost you have to use the same method that you use for the legacy check the legacy check method is as follows so first of you have to obtain root on your phone it's highly recommended or rather it's compulsory that you use the magic canary build and not the beta and stable build or else this tweak will not work so once you have obtained root by the magic canary build you will now have to enable zygisk so go to the settings menu Enable the toggle next to Zygisk and do not do a restart. Now we will do a restart at the end just to save some time. Anyways, moving on, once that is done, you will now have to get hold of the Shamiko LS Post Plane Integrity Zygisk and the Tricky Stone module. So download all the modules and then also install the root file manager app. For this, we are using the solid file manager app. You could use any one of your choice. Finally, use a Plane Integrity API ch checker app as well. Again, we are using this app for that. There are quite a few apps which using which you could perform this test. But for now, we are using this app. So install these two apps as well. So once you have got these five modules, obtain root via Magisk Canary, enable Zygisk in the Magisk, and install both of these apps and got an unrevoked keybox XML file as well. Let's now move ahead with the next step. So now go to the module section of Magisk, tap on install from storage, choose the modules you file. And then tap on OK. The modules will be flash. So flash all these five modules. First off, flash the LS post and then flash the rest of the modules because the Shamiko module will require you to have an LS post framework installed beforehand. So start by flashing the LS post and only then flash the rest of the modules. Once you have flashed all the five modules, you must then do a restart. And once you have done a restart, you will then get hold of the keybox XML file, which I will share with you. Then launch the solid file manager app and go to the root directory. You will now get a magic prompt tap on grant. Also enable auto rotate once that is done. 
auto drag your phone in the landscape mode and for example here is the internal memory and here is the keybox xml file which i have got and from the this hand side go to the root directory then go to data adb tricky store and now what you have to do is copy the keybox xml file from your phone onto the data adb tricky store so copy from here and simply hit the paste icon here and tap on new the file will be pasted once the file has been pasted you will once again have to do a restart so restart your phone and with this you will now pass the legacy check after the restart you will pass the legacy check but you might still be failing the new android 13 check to pass the android 13 check as well you will now have to download one more module so this is where the new guide comes into the play so up until now using the old guide you could easily pass the basic test or the legacy test now let's pass the new test for this go to my new guide i will link all this guide in the video description you may also ask me if you have any query so now go to my new guide and in my new guide first of all you have to carry out the steps mentioned here so this we are done and now we are passing the legacy test so once we are passing the legacy test now you have to download the tricky store add-on this is also known as ksu web ui so install this add-on and once you install this add-on via magisk so go to magisk modules install from storage choose this add-on from here it's available on github and install it once you have installed you will have to do a restart again so after the restart the module will not be shown here in the magisk module section and once again repeating the tricky store add-on module will not be shown here but you will get the action buttons next to plain integrity fix and the tricky store so what you have to do is tap on the action next to tricky store and this will open an app the app is known as ksu web ui so this ksu web ui app has been installed by the tricky store web tricky store add-on only so once you flash the tricky store add-on and restart your phone and then launch tap on the action button next to tricky store it will automatically install the ksu web ui app and launch it once the app has been launched you will get a magic prompt tap on grant and now you have to go to the tricky store and from tricky store tap on check mark google play service play store and the google service framework check mark all these three app tap on save and once saved once again do a restart so you only have to check mark all these three apps and do a restart after a restart perform a check and you will now pass all these three tests in the legacy check as well so guys what exactly is this module doing so this module does nothing but simply adds these three apps in the target.txt file of the tricky store module you may also manually get this job done and in that way you will not have to flash this module so if you don't want to flash this module then you will have to manually take care of this job so in that case what you have to do is open the file manager app go to the data adb tricky store and from here you have to open the target.txt file and here you have to add the following three values the com.google.android.gms com android com google android gsf which is the google service framework the gms google mobile service and the third is the android the android and the gms are very important likewise also at the gsf so after adding all these three values let me show you the first value the third value and the fourth value so add all these three values manually and hit the save button and after that you will now pass the new test as well so the same thing has been done by this module as well the google play service is the as you could see com google android gms which is the first value being added here the gms in the target txt let me show you once again so the first value is com android gms which is play service then the play store is com android vending the com android vending this is the play service play store and finally we have the gsf the google service framework so the gsf and apart from that you will also have to add the android value so not the first third and fourth rather first second third and fourth you also have to add the second value as well and please it's very important to add the android keyword as well so add the first four values manually and save it and doing so will then no longer require you to flash the tricky store add-on module you must then skip flashing this module but it's quite easy to get the job done via ksu module that is why we have flashed the module because it will automatically take care of it you just have to go to tricky store and check mark all these three apps hit the save button do a restart 
and it will automatically add those value in the target txt file of the tricky stone module these four values which i am talking about so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries but regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and just to round off this is my first guide and this first guide you will have to use the steps to pass the legacy check once you have passed the legacy check you will now refer to my second guide to pass the new android 13 check and using the third guide you may get hold of the unrevoked keybox xml file just drop in your request in this guide comment section and using this guide you will pass the legacy test the past strong integrity test and in the this guide you will be able to pass the new android 13 checks i have given the heading of each guide just have a look at the heading and get the job done but please only drop in your request in the third guide and not in the first and second so on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching